What's up everybody, D-My Mac, welcome to a brand new video. This one is going to be doing another Kaiju versus one. This is another solo video, not going to go too in-depth with these Kaiju verses like I used to. You guys know the drill, you know, you guys saw the last one that I did, the Kong versus All video. That is the style that these videos are going to be in, kind of like the Godzilla Q&A, although specifically versus questions. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first question that we have today is a really old question, it comes from uh, Cody Horn. This one is Super Godzilla, Super Godzilla SNES versus Kaiser Ghidorah. I don't really know about Super Godzilla, I didn't really play the game. Now Super Godzilla has a lot of different attacks, he has uh, just, you know, in the game, I, I did some research, he can do, he has like tons of different abilities that real Godzilla doesn't have. He's kind of like a, a space Godzilla looking dude, just he has different powers. You know, it, it's weird, but Kaiser Ghidorah is, you know, insanely powerful. Beat the hell out of Godzilla Final Wars Godzilla. You know, he absorbed all the energy from that Godzilla, leaving him drained and powerless. That is what he's going to do to Super Godzilla. I, you know, if, if the two of them saw each other, he would drain his power. You know, the only reason Godzilla won in Final Wars against Kaiser Ghidorah is because he got a, a energy boost from the mutants who were in that spaceship, the Garuda. I think they shot it from the Garuda. They may have. I think they did. Now, that is the only reason Kaiser Ghidorah lost that fight. So Kaiser Ghidorah, being as powerful as he is to take on the strongest Godzilla ever. I'm going to give that fight to Kaiser Ghidorah. Super Godzilla is going to lose that fight. Now here's a question from Yurin Tiruslin. I don't know what your name is, and I don't even want to try and pronounce that again because there's no way I'm going to do it justice. Now this question is Godzilla vs. the Titans from Attack on Titan. Now this question is, is weird because, well, Godzilla was, Shin Godzilla was directed by the director of Attack on Titan live action, so it's kind of a cool question for that reason. Thing is though, Godzilla is so freaking massive compared to these titans that he's gonna wipe the floor with them. The only one who would stand a chance would be the colossal titan, which is just some big humanoid dude who is still going to get his, his, his insides blown apart by the atomic breath. I really don't see any scenario where the titans would win unless they all ganged up on him at once, in which case he would atomic pulse and they'd all be obliterated, or at least that's how I think it would go. I don't necessarily think the titans stand any chance against Godzilla, especially Shin Godzilla would just demolish them. Turn around, back lasers, they're gone. Turn around, tail laser, they're gone. You know, atomic breath in general, that's so freaking powerful, they don't stand a single chance against him. So, really, I don't see any scenario where any Godzilla would lose to the Titans. Here's another question from the same guy. I'm not gonna try and pronounce your name twice. There's just no way. So the question is, the original Mechagodzilla vs. Godzilla 2014, uh, that's not even a question, man. Godzilla 2014 is so big that the original Mechagodzilla, Mechagodzilla uh, 74, would look like a toy to him. He'd pick that thing up and just huck him away. You know, if you play the Godzilla PS4 game, you can do that. You can fight the one, you can fight Mechagodzilla 74 as 2014. He'll be like that big to you, you know, and he'll like walk up to you and you can just pick him up and like throw him against the ground and kill him really fast. That's the same kind of thing I think would happen here. The only thing that would make it good is if Mechagodzilla 74 was on the same size range as 2014, in which case I would probably give the fight to Mechagodzilla 74. He has eye beams that could, you know, make the original Godzilla bleed. He has finger missiles, you know, so he has a, a force field. The, the thing is, 2014 is very powerful. I don't necessarily think he'll do well in a beam battle. He just he doesn't have a good atomic breath. He doesn't seem to be able to fight far back. If he was able to get up close, now the fight turns completely differently. Mechagodzilla 74, even on his height, is going to get demolished by Godzilla 2014 if he can get close enough. The thing is, though, Mechagodzilla 74 can fly. Godzilla 2014 wouldn't really be able to handle that. Shin Godzilla, on the other hand, would kill Mechagodzilla 74 with, like, very little resistance just because of how powerful his atomic breath was. Now here's a question from Tammy Takchuk. Uh, once again, these names are just not my thing. Um, the question is, Gorlosaurus versus Godzillasaurus. 
Well, this is pretty cool because Gorlosaurus and Godzillosaurus are the same species. Gorlosaurus just happens to be a giant version of what Godzillosaurus is. So Gorlosaurus is just like if the Godzillosaurus got mutated by radiation, but not enough to turn into Godzilla. That's pretty much how I see it. The thing is though, because Gorlosaurus is just a bigger version of Godzillosaurus, I think he's gonna kill him. Like there's no, that's like a, a human fighting a smaller human. Typically the bigger one's going to win, especially when they have like an incredibly strong like drop kick, they can knock over King Ghidorah. So I think Gorosaurus wins that fight. Here's a question from Rodan Studios who asks Zilla versus Gabra. Well, that's a stupid question. Gabra wins every fight he's ever been in. You know, Godzilla Revenge really didn't do that character justice. One of the greatest Godzilla characters in history, I would say. Really, I think he's better than Godzilla. I don't think there's any sort of question that you could ever pose where Gabra would lose. You know, you could pin him against Jet Jaguar. You could pin him against whoever you want. Gabra's gonna win. Gabra's the best kaiju I've ever seen in my life, and, and he's my favorite. So just back off with the Gabra questions, all right? Don't... Don't question this guy. Don't corner him in a corner and, and beat him down because he's going to get up and he's going to electrocute you with his electric hands. He's going to win. He's awesome. There was a slight hint of sarcasm in that answer if you couldn't tell. The final question comes from Bill Webster. He asks, Manda versus Mogera. So if he's talking about Showa Mogera, I'm going to say Manda wins. Well, for the simple reason of Showa Mogera was like really dopey. You know, that thing, he, he didn't really have very good flexibility. It was kind of a weird kind of thing, the Mysterians. Man, I haven't seen the Mysterians, so, you know, I can't speak 100% for sure on this one, but Manda from the Showa series didn't really do a lot, but I still think he'd win. Now, if we're talking about Heisei Mogera, now if we're talking about Heisei Mogera versus Millennium Manda, whoa, Mogera gets his butt whooped immediately for the simple reason of Manda from Millennium series is insanely long. He is a crazy length. And he would, you know, wrap around Mogera. Mogera sure can split in two and maybe do some damage, but no, Manda is just so big that he is gonna take him on and win. I know, I know. Manda lost to Garuda. What are you doing, B Man? Well, I simply think size does matter in terms of kaiju fights. You know, see, see what I did there, 98? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone, 98? No, but that's the kind of thing, is just he's so big that he, I don't think he'd lose. That does it for the questions for today. See you guys for the next Godzilla vs. video. Don't know when I'm going to do it someday in the future. So, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If I didn't answer your question this time, doesn't mean I won't answer it at all. Don't comment questions multiple times because then it's just going to get bogged down with too many questions. D-Man, out.